Asperger's in Society is a Manchester-based documentary about the relationship between autism and mental health. Over the course of the filming process, I was introduced to a number of interesting autistic individuals, and struck by the quality of these experiences and opinions, I decided to create a behind-the-scenes video series to showcase these marvellous people. This is one of them. Okay, so uh, I've got 11 questions. The last one's not really a question, it's just asking about how it was for you. Um, so yeah, do you, do you want me to run through the questions before I, I ask um. No, that's fine. I went through them with Norman just before. Oh, I think okay. I meet him on Wednesday. So. Yeah. Oh, nice. It's had a bit of practice. That's cool. A bit. <laughs> just putting some thoughts down, really. Right. So, um, question one How would you describe autism to those without it? I say it's a, it's a different way of. Sorry. <laughs> Let's take this off. Yeah, just take the sock off. <laughs> right, I'll ask it again. Sorry. <laughs> um, how would you describe autism to someone about it? I'd say it's a different way of looking at the world and a different way of communicating with the world around you. So some like routine, others find social communication really difficult while some can be quite chatty and I think the main thing is the literal interpretation of anything that they're asked to do or that they're told. Cool, very good. I like it. Um, next one, question two. Do you like being autistic? Uh, it has its difficulties, obviously, but I think it's part of what makes me me, and I wouldn't change that. Brilliant. Okay. Next question. Um, question three. What traits of autism do you like, and how have they benefited you? Uh, I think for me personally, it's that trait of focusing intently on one thing and it's certainly benefited me in terms of what I've chosen to do. I did history as an undergrad, now I'm doing a master's in art gallery museum study so that's been really beneficial. Yeah it must be, uh, it's a really hard at university isn't it? Mm. I, I struggle a lot with it. <laughs> okay. Uh, question four. So this is this is just friendships, romantic relationships, yeah. any anything that you want to talk about and to do with contacts. Um, question four. What were your relationships like in the past? Well, the main one with family. I have a very close and supportive network with them, and quite a big family as well. So that's been really good and helpful for me. Friendships. I I used to have sort of like a small group of friends at school, but in general, I do find it hard to maintain friendships. So I guess at the moment, I don't I don't really have any friends, in sort of like the usual sense. So. And as as I said, if you if you feel like you need to take a break or something. Mm. It's really good. It's like it's 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 really good to get you know someone who's very open about it. So um, I think I think everyone will appreciate watching it back and stuff. Uh, question five: Do you think your autism has contributed to any struggles in your life? Uh, yeah, it affects quite a lot of different areas. For example, social interaction, and as I've mentioned previously lack of a friendship group really, but also finding work that has been really difficult because I don't do that well in interviews, I find them quite hard, so that's 
so it's been difficult trying to find help with that. You don't, you're doing pretty well with this. Like, <laughs> there's not many yeah. people who can come on like, and talk on camera, so you should be glad <laughs> for that. But. I've, I've seen that there's, there's some people who just can't get anything out because they're, they're speaking so quickly that they can't really get anything out, so that, like, you're doing fine. It's good. Um, question six. How was school for you? Did being autistic impact your experience in any way? Yeah, um, I found school really difficult. <laughs> I absolutely hate it. <laughs> but I think most people probably hate it at some point. But I think the most difficult thing was sort of being autistic, but not being aware of it, aware of it at the time, because I was only diagnosed at 19. So before the school, I did not have any support at all. So that was really difficult. Okay. Um, let's have a little bit breather. Mm-hmm. Quite warm in here. It is boiling, isn't it? That's what I thought. I came in with three layers on them. <laughs> I'm still roasting in that. It's got a t shirt on. Wanna do the uh, the next one? Yeah. Okay. So question seven. Would you change anything about the way society deals with the problems that autistics have? Yeah, I feel it's a lot like mental health at the problem because especially with those who are less severe, it's not noticeable really and people aren't aware. I think making people more aware of traits and understand that just because someone doesn't look typically autistic or whatever, it doesn't mean that they haven't got any issues at all and just like with anyone else, treat them as an individual and see what works for them. Very good, thank you. Um, okay. Question eight. If you could talk to your child self, what would you tell them? I'd say persevere. <laughs> it's not always easy, but eventually you will come to understand why you feel the way you do. And you'll find your own little niche in the world. Uh, question nine. What would you say to any autistics currently struggling in the school environment? The main thing is to make people aware of the diagnosis and aware of how it affects you and then make use of any resources that you can get because that would be extremely beneficial once people are aware they can help. Two more questions left, brilliantly. Uh, question 10. What do you think autistic people have to offer the world? I think honesty and being able to get to the heart of the problem and cut through all the uh, BS <laughs> that other people focus on and can't move on from. I like that one. We haven't, we haven't had anything on honesty yet, so that's, <laughs> that's brilliant. Okay, last question. It's just a, it's a little round up. Yeah. Um, have you enjoyed this experience and what would you like to say to everyone that you haven't already said? Um, yeah, it's been good and it's helped me really think about what it actually means and so get it a bit clearer in my head because it's still relatively new to me. I'm still trying to understand exactly what it is. Is it? <laughs>
<laughs> um, is there anything that you'd like to say to, to anyone? No, not just like a specific person, but like <laughs> viewers. <laughs> And just see the individual, not the label. Perfect. Yep, sounds good. Very good. Thank you very much. Brilliant.